the newest Tesla Optimus AI robot. Tesla is creating Optimus, commonly referred to as TeslaBot, a general-purpose robotic humanoid. On August 19th, 2021, the corporation held an Artificial Intelligence Day celebration. Tesla's CEO Elon Musk asserted that a prototype would be built by 2022. Optimus has the potential to be more substantial than the automotive company over time, according to Musk. Welcome back to Artificial Weekly. What is this humanoid robot famous for? What extra features does it have? Let's quickly check it out. Before getting into this video, subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. The device was exhibited at the Tesla Giga Texas production site on April 7, 2022, as part of the Cyber Rodeo occasion. Musk stated that Optimus would eventually be able to perform everything that people don't want to do, and intends to have the robot ready for production by 2023. Musk stated during the AI Day event in June 2022 that the exhibition model and the Giga Texas opening would not resemble the initial prototype that Tesla hoped to reveal later that year. Optimus prototypes that were only partially functional were on exhibit during Tesla's second AI Day in September 2022. One prototype could move about the stage while a more streamlined version could also move its arms. The intended height of the Tesla Optimus is 5 foot 8 inches, 173 centimeters, and its weight is 125 pounds, 57 kilograms. A Tesla Optimus will be managed by the same AI system Tesla is building for the advanced driver assistance system used in its cars, according to the presentation delivered during the first AI Day event, and have a carrying capacity of 45 pounds, 20 kilograms. The hazardous, repetitive, and dull jobs suggested for the product include helping with manufacturing. Musk claimed that contemporary humanoid robots were missing a brain, lacking the capacity to navigate the world independently. They were also incredibly expensive and produced in small quantities. In contrast, he claimed Optimus would be a highly capable robot that would eventually be produced in millions of units in very high production, and for less than $20,000, making it much less expensive than a car. Also, Musk was supposed to talk about Tesla's long-delayed self-driving technology. Without obtaining full self-driving capability, the CEO of the most valuable automaker in the world stated in May that the company would be worth virtually zero. The company also confronts increasing regulatory inquiries in addition to technological challenges. Late on Wednesday, Musk wrote on Twitter, there will be lots of technical information and cool hardware demos, adding that the event was designed to find engineers. Tesla used a picture of metallic robot hands forming a heart shape to preview the release of the bot on social media. Nevertheless, creating flexible human-like hands that can handle a variety of objects is incredibly difficult, according to Heni Ben Amor, an Arizona State University robotics expert. According to Musk, Optimus would first do tedious or hazardous tasks, such as transporting components around Tesla plants or tightening a bolt to a car with a tool. Optimus refers to the strong and kind leader of the Autobots in the Transformers media universe. According to Musk, the prototype is the first robot to function without a tether, remote control, or an external power source. Its AI algorithms, electric actuation, and battery are all integrated into its operation. Tesla has already placed many prototypes for testing in its factories. About the technical specifications, the information made public indicates that Optimus has Wi-Fi and LTE connectivity in addition to a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack. The robot currently weighs about 72 kilograms. Optimus can work on the 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack for a day. The robot uses 100 watts of power when it is at rest and 500 watts when it's moving. The robot is built using biologically inspired design to give it greater agility. The emphasis of the demonstration was on Optimus's joints, namely its hands, wrists, and knees, and how each joint processes data. Six actuators and 11 degrees of freedom are at Optimus's disposal. Moreover, Optimus has sensors that provide sensory feedback when he directly grasps objects. 
Boston Dynamics is frequently used as a benchmark for humanoid and legged robots. Compared to Boston Dynamics' humanoid robot, Optimus is less agile and capable of moving quickly. Nonetheless, Boston Dynamics lacks Optimus's deft hands, which he possesses. A humanoid robot has never been differentiated like this before. Most surface robots have trouble performing precise manipulation and fine movements. This is a significant obstacle because the robots will still be constrained in many ways without the capacity to control and manipulate objects delicately. ID Tech X thinks there is still a considerable difference between robotic hands and human hands, which typically have 27 degrees of freedom, although 11 is highly outstanding. The robotic hand with the highest degree of freedom, which enables excellent dexterity and a broad range of potential uses, is currently produced by Shadow Robotics. Optimus uses the Tesla full self-driving system for object recognition and classification in terms of software. Optimus resembles an autonomous vehicle that can move on two legs rather than four. The robot, which Tesla calls Bumble C, stepped hesitantly onto the stage and waved to the audience. It was built primarily using motors, actuators, and other parts from third-party vendors, and AI computer vision and navigation software adapted from Tesla's own Autopilot Advanced Driver Assistance software. Even more so, it performed a little dance. According to Musk, the robot is capable of much more than what we just demonstrated. We just didn't want it to fall on its face, Musk said. The robot was then seen moving boxes in a warehouse and an office in films, setting a package on a desk, picking up a watering can to water some plants, and picking up metal pieces in a Tesla factory. Although technology can potentially change the manufacturing and transportation sectors, concerns about how it might affect jobs have been expressed. Musk has stated that the creation of Optimus will result in more jobs being created than lost and that it will work alongside people rather than replace them. Optimus is certain to disrupt the tech landscape since it has the power to transform the way we work completely. The corporation displayed two versions of its creation. The first was a robot known as Bumble C, which walked, or more precisely, staggered around the stage while periodically waving at the spectators. According to Musk, this robot is just a rough development robot that will eventually develop into the final version of Optimus. During the occasion, a screened video showed this prototype moving a box and attempting to water a home plant. The second generation of the robot featured more gear and plating and was purportedly a more advanced advanced model. Paradoxically, this upgraded model was unable to walk at all. It resembled a mannequin with a stick up its butt to the untrained eye. The monstrosity drunkenly tottered about the stage, guided and supported by a chorus of frightened Tesla personnel, who looked at all times like they were terrified the robot would face plant on stage. Many newspapers responded soon after the event with suspicion towards the suggested product. According to Bloomberg News, a product like that violated the company's clean energy ambitions and constituted mission creep. Tesla has a history of inflating deadlines and overpromising at its product unveilings and investor presentations, according to the Washington Post. It's anyone's guess as to whether a functional Tesla bot will ever see the light of day, according to The Verge, which also stated that Tesla's history is littered with fanciful ideas that never panned out, and referred to the Tesla bot reveal as a bizarre and brilliant bit of tomfoolery in an editorial. Some commentators applauded the advancements with the prototypes displayed at the second AI Day. According to some analysts, the majority of what was demonstrated in these most recent presentations had already been completed by other robotics initiatives, and there didn't seem to be much evidence that Tesla could outpace other firms working on similar things. The assertion that Tesla will be able to mass-produce humanoid robots in a short amount of time is comparable to the declaration he makes every year that their cars will achieve full autonomy the next year. It appears to downplay the difficulty of the task and the length of time it will take to perfect it fully. Therefore, any efforts to introduce AI-driven solutions shouldn't be focused on generalization alone. Automation, according to Niedermeyer, is a spectrum. Although we lack a general-purpose humanoid robot, several straightforward ones provide economic value daily. Going all-in on general AI, whose most outspoken proponent has been Elon Musk, shouldn't divert attention from creating answers for particular issues. With that, we come to a close. Comment below with your thoughts on this Tesla AI robot. 
If you enjoyed the video, like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Bang the bell icon for immediate notification. Watch other videos from our playlists too. Bye!